Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Hugh Freeze, the Auburn Tigers, hosting a ton of top targets on Saturday for spring practice. Want to dive into the visitor list, talk about some of my favorite prospects that are on campus for the Auburn Tigers, including quarterback KJ Lacey committed to Texas, really liking how the quarterback board is shaking out for the Auburn Tigers. And one of the things that stands out to me the most is since Hugh Freeze has taken over for this Auburn program, the amount of buzz that it's creating with the offensive skill, whether it's wide receivers, whether it's quarterbacks, the best players at the quarterback, running back, wide receiver position, they want to go check out Auburn. And I think that's something that you just didn't see from Brian Harson over his tenure at Auburn, certainly changing for Hugh Freeze. They're consistently hosting some of the top talent on the offensive side of the football. Want to get into the visitor list before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Auburn Tiger fans. It is no secret it has been a blast talking this program on the recruiting trail, whether we're breaking down commitments, whether we're talking about top targets that are in for visits, the amount of support you guys continue to show to the boys truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. I want to start with KJ Lacey, obviously committed to Texas, a little bit of a surprise visit. And you have to be so impressed with how the quarterback recruiting is going for this Auburn program. KJ Lacey, obviously interested in Auburn. You're in it for a guy like Hassan Longstreet. You're in it for a guy like Julian Lewis. Top quarterbacks, they want to go check out Auburn. They want to go to Auburn. Obviously, Walker White in the 2024 class. Now, talking about KJ Lacey, this is a kid that is extremely fun to watch on the film. Checked him out earlier this morning. A guy that I've watched a lot over the last couple of months. The thing that stands out to KJ Lacey in a world of recruiting where I think the narrative and conversation always goes to the projectable trades, how tall are you, how big is the arm, what's the weight looking like, KJ Lacey is an undersized quarterback. There's no question about that. The arm talent, there's no question about that either, though. This is a guy that has a ton of juice in the arm, can make a lot of different throws, but my favorite attribute about KJ Lacey when you turn on the film is this dude's just a gamer. And that's something that I feel like doesn't get talked enough about when you're talking about the quarterbacks coming from the high school ranks. Yes, you want to see the size. You want to see the weight. You want to see the arms of them throwing on air. But what happens when you put on the pads and the helmet on Friday nights? Can these quarterbacks make it happen? KJ Lacey is one of those guys that kind of just has that it factor about him. You take a look at the numbers from his high school career the last two years. 66% completion percentage for over 6,600 yards, 82 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. And beyond those stats that are extremely impressive, this kid's a winner. State title as a a sophomore in high school, state runner up as a junior in high school. This guy gets it done. And you want quarterbacks that have a lot of experience winning football games. KJ Lacey has that kind of experience. He has that it factor. He can extend plays, throw from all sorts of different platforms. He's a playmaker at that quarterback position. And this is a guy that I think would really fit into this Auburn offense. And you continue watching the film and you just kind of realize how much command he has of an offense. He can play in structure, the ball's coming out on time accurately, but when things break down, he can also create playing a little backyard football, but he balances the two at a high level, can play in structure, can make nothing out of or can make something out of nothing as well. Big fan of KJ Lacey, and we'll see what Auburn can do with the in-state prospect and KJ Lacey. Next guy I want to talk about, and I mean uh, something that Auburn's done a really impressive job of over the last couple of classes recruiting the state of Georgia. And I want to go to a guy like Daryl Johnson, who in my mind at that linebacker position might be purely the most athletic and talented linebacker you see in this 2025 class. We broke him down when he committed to Alabama. He's on campus for Auburn, signifying that this recruitment is certainly not closed. Daryl Johnson is the definition of that modern day linebacker that you want. A guy that was a former DB at the high school level, plays quarterback, plays running back, plays wide receiver, really not a position that Daryl Johnson doesn't play. But you talk about being just an elite caliber front seven defender, a chess piece in the defense. Daryl Johnson 
an 80 inch wingspan has a ton of length can drop back in coverage, obviously as a former defensive back, very comfortable in coverage, but a guy that can blitz off the edge. He can close the space between himself and the ball carrier at an extremely high level. Yes, a little bit raw at that linebacker position. This is a guy that you're betting on the athletic traits 10 times out of 10. Get this guy on campus, figure out how he's going to impact this defense because he is truly one of the best athletes in this 2025 class, whether he's playing linebacker, whether he's playing safety. This is a guy that you want on your defense because the traits that he has with the 80-inch wingspan, with the speed that he has, I am a massive fan of Daryl Johnson, and it looks like Auburn is going to push Alabama for this one over the next couple of months. Next guy I want to talk about, another kind of juiced-up linebacker. and We kind of have this conversation a lot, modern-day linebackers in college football. Daryl Johnson, certainly one of them. Tyler Lockhart, another one of those kind of guys, 6'3", 200 pounds, yes, undersized right now at that linebacker position, you need your linebackers to be able to operate in space. You look at what opposing offenses are trying to do. We talk about this a ton. They want to attack linebackers in space, whether it's getting them matched up with running backs out in the flat in space, whether it's forcing linebackers to carry tight ends up the seam. In the modern day of college football, you need linebackers that can match up athletically in space. Daryl Johnson, who we just talked about, Tyler Lockhart, certainly two of those guys that can kind of be those spacey linebackers that can operate in space, whether it's in coverage, whether it's going to sideline to sideline. And as much as we just talked about what Auburn has done at the quarterback position, at the wide receiver position, obviously guys, Cam Coleman, Perry Thompson come to mind. I mean, Hugh Freeze, we say this a lot. He knows what it takes to win at the SEC level. And it starts with guys in the front seven on that defensive line. Hugh Freeze has done a great job recruiting the defensive line position, recruiting that linebacker position. Yes, a lot of the emphasis goes on what they've done on the offensive side of the football, doing a really good job attracting top defensive talent as well to this program. Next two guys I want to talk about, and this is going to the 2026 class. And again, you're going to see Hugh Freeze get early and often into this 2026 class. Another Georgia cat in Jordan Carter. This is an extremely exciting prospect. You turn on the film from his sophomore year. I don't know if I've seen a more polished edge rusher at that young of an age in a very long time. He has Jordan Carter, that is, has a ton of length in those arms, and he uses that length at such a high level. You see him straight arm tackles. You see him chop tackles down. You see him have these swim moves. For a guy, you see a lot of these really juiced up edge rushers just win with kind of athleticism and power, not really much nuance to their pass rush game. Jordan Carter combines all of those physical traits that you want, but is an extremely refined pass rusher that looks like he has been coached at the college level for a couple of years. I think he's extremely excited. Again, only going into his junior year in that 2026 class, we talked about it. Hugh Freeze doing a really good job winning at the point of attack, specifically on that defensive line. Jordan Carter certainly going to help that trend out. Last guy I want to talk about, Kenan Britt, obviously the younger brother of former Auburn linebacker, KJ Britt, 6'2", 230, kind of built like a fire hydrant a little bit right now. Low pads, powerful hands. Another guy that you talk about winning the point of attack on the defensive side of the football. That's what Auburn wants to do. They're putting a lot of effort into winning on the defensive line. I think Georgia kind of put out that blueprint. If you have an elite defensive line, you can cover up for a lot of mistakes. I always go back to Georgia in 2021, one of the best defenses that we've seen in college football in a while. Kirby Smart came into that year saying, hey, we got a lot of questions in the back end of our defense. Those questions didn't really matter because they dominated up front. They stopped the run. They were able to get after the passer. If you can build a defense with elite line of scrimmage play, you're going to cover up for a lot of maybe question marks you might have at other positions. And it is pretty clear that you look at what they're building in the 2025 class. You look at what they brought in with guys like Jamonta Waller and Amaris Williams in the 2024 class. Hugh Freeze wants to get it going on the defensive line, whether that's in the 2025, 2026 class. These two guys, Keenan Brett, Jordan Carter, Really, really exciting prospects. Those are some of my favorite players on campus. We would be going for, what, 25 minutes if we covered every single one. 
that was on campus. Wanted to highlight some of my favorite ones. Interested to see how this KJ Lacey storyline plays out over the next couple of weeks. We'll keep you guys updated as it plays out. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.